Uh, tell me about the significance of evenings like these. Uh, the British Olympic Association is independent, it's, it's financed by donations through fundraising uh, and tonight is a really important part of that fundraising process and the money that is raised tonight will help to, to support the British Olympic team, Team GB, prepared to hope they have the best ever games of 2012. It's a standout point of the evening from your point of view, I know you've attended one or you know two what? before. I've never heard Tom Jones live, so that for me, I'm, I'm looking forward to looking Tom forward Jones. To, <laughs> yeah. What are you looking forward to most next year about 2012? What event? Obviously, my own event, Triple Jump. Philip Sadeau, who's got a great chance of winning yeah. the gold medal. Um, I think he'll get his preparation absolutely right. He's shown in the past that he jumps best when it matters. Uh, I'd love to see Ben Ainsley win his fourth gold medal in sailing. I think, you know, one of the Olympic, true Olympic legends. And for him to finish off his Olympic career, become the most, even most successful sailor ever, would be fantastic. Thanks, you, Tom. Right, enjoy the So, British Olympic ball, Jeanette? Yes. Looking forward to it. Everyone says it's Tom Jones that they've really come here to see tonight. No, I've come here to see Teachers Australia. <laughs> no, no. Really. How important are these events? I think really important. It's a year out. I think it's really good to kind of obviously raise a little bit more money to kind of make next year really, really special. And, you know, these are the kind of fun events that we can be at. So you brought mum tonight? I have brought mum tonight. How much of a support has mum been? Because I know you've been through a lot in the last yeah. couple of years. She's been my rock, right? She's, uh, she moved in with me when I was her and everything else. So it's nice to come out and treat her. We're guests of Procter & Gamble. How are you? Looking out, yeah, looking out for looking the mums. Out for my mum I know the campaign well. Uh, she had a really nice day. It's a nice day to finish things off. So really well, listen, go ahead and enjoy the evening, Thank right? Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Something. How are you? I'm You're very, okay. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, man. You're looking very dapper, sir. Well, you know, I have to scrub up now. Representing, yeah? The, uh, running spikes, well, they're all there, innit? We're asking people about their favourite Olympic moment. What's, what's, what's yours? Um, my favourite Olympic moment, which I was in, or just Olympic moment? Both. Give us one of each. Give us um, yours that you were in and one that uh, you weren't. I think my personal one, which I was actually in, was the Olympics 96, when we got a silver medal. When I went down the back straight in the 4x4 relay, and the American, my competitor, I ran past and I meet me like Roadrunner. That was my favourite moment in an Olympic final. Um, but actual Olympics, I think. Um, Michael Johnson's 1932 has got to be the one for me. I mean, obviously you've got Usain Bolt, who's amazing now, but at the time to take half a second off the world record was like a joke. So Michael Johnson, legend mate. Enjoy tonight.